Scorpios, honey hush, you're up. Honey hush, we're going to tap into the energies of this weekend for my Scorpios. Let's see what's going on with you and your energies, honey hush. Please keep in mind that this reading is general. The energies are fluid and the message is timeless. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. What it do, boo? Let's see what's going on with you. Oh, y'all got y'all stinkers out. Some of y'all could be having attitudes this weekend. Or you have to get a new attitude. I'm just saying. Oh, it's feeling sassy. Mm. What's that? Oh, Jesus. You probably have to tell somebody a thing or two about a thing or two. That's what I'm feeling. It's very sassy over here with Scorpio. Honey, somebody pissed you off? I don't know. I hope not. But let's see. Holy, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What is the main leading energy for my Scorpios for this weekend? Okay. <laughs> we have these two flipping out. We have <gasps> dedicated effort. Oh, it's like the eight, eight of coins. And then we have reach out. Uh, being stubborn. Some of you, because it's being stubborn. Oh, this is somebody about you. And then we have feel at the bottom of the deck. <coughs> Some people want to reach out to you. Um, yeah. Talk and have a conversation here. Put in the work and the effort here. But they're not, they want to. Or this is you. But not so, you're not making a move so much here. Uh-uh. This is also to the, um, the star energy. Healing you know, that heart chakra. Yeah, somebody want to reach out to you, but they're not doing it. In order to heal some type of connection here, yeah. Or this is you, uh-huh. Somebody want to put the, put in the effort now. They're dedicated to this now. Uh-huh, or this is you, yeah. Uh-huh, but you're just sitting here, you know, so reach out. Reach out and test somebody's hand. Make this world a better place if you can, you know what I mean? Or your world a better place if you just go ahead and reach out and heal the connection here. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. <laughs> but it's beautiful though. It's beautiful. This is this is a coming together energy with all this red right here. So it's passionate here. It could be somebody that's passionately wanted to reach out to you. But they're just sitting there just looking. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else can you tell me? For my Scorpios. Thank you. Inner knowing. Ooh. Healing and inner knowing. Okay, let's get one more. So it's something that you know. Okay, all right. This is making me feel like though this is you. Probably want to be, or, oh, you know this person want to reach out to you and talk to you. And then we have healing again. You got to heal the situation here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You want to reach out. You're reaching out to somebody to heal the situation here. And then we have contentment at the bottom of the back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, this is making me feel like family, friends here. That's going to help you heal or you want to heal something with your family and your friends here you have healed twice so whatever it is that you're going through scorpio it hurt a lot it hurt a lot but you put in a lot of dedicated effort in order to heal and get over this here i want to say get over but get through <clears throat> the hard times and challenges that you're up against here yeah but it's making me feel like somebody want to reach out to you to help heal a situation or a connection. Or this is you wanting to reach out to somebody to help heal a situation or a connection. You could be getting a phone call this weekend for some of you guys. You know what I mean? Yeah, you could be getting a phone call. Or you could be making a phone call to heal a connection or a situation. Yep. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else can you tell me? What is this? Flipping out. Surrender. Mm-hmm. This has been coming out a lot. For my um zodiacs surrender surrender to the most high surrender all your ill feelings and cares and 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 worries of the world surrender it up to the most high let's get one more uh-huh and that came out surrender it's like don't hold no more grudges surrender to the healing powers that is here okay then maybe you need to reach out to somebody okay and, and put the dedicated effort to cook to reconnect the connection here release you see and i said surrender and release whatever it is you hold it on to this is you you need to reach out and you need to surrender and release anything that you're holding back from a connection or the hurt and pain of a connection or a situation or a friendship or whatever but healing is here you have to heal 
you, both of you guys have to heal. But it's making me feel like it's more you with this inner knowing and this healing. You know you have to heal. You have to heal internally here. And the way that you can heal internally here is heal a connection here. I, I'm getting a, con a connection here with this dedicated effort and it's reaching out. Uh-huh. This will help you heal. Uh-huh. Bottom of the deck, we have boundaries. Still blocking it. This is why surrender is here because you're still blocking it. Are you setting up boundaries against this person here? Okay, or you're reconstructing your boundaries with the person <clears throat> or a situation here. And it's okay because with this inner knowing and healing, oh yeah. Oh yeah, you know what, what you have to heal within yourself in order to move forward here. But this boundaries is making me feel as though you're protecting yourself here, but you're going to have to release this. Whatever it is, you're going to have to release and surrender. So you're going to have to give up some type of mindset, some type of emotion, um, <clears throat> some type of action even that you're taking with the surrender here. Yeah. Because it's going to bring you the healing that you need. Yeah. Let's, let's, uh, let's clarify. Dedicated effort. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. This energy feels light and free. Mm -hmm. It do. What can you tell me about surrender? Your hard work, I mean, ded dedicated effort, excuse me. And it says your hard work is paying off. You see what I mean? Whatever you put in your time, energy, and efforts into, it's going to pay off here. Working very hard and diligently. And it's making me feel like a connection here. See how they hugged up and loved up? Yeah. Healing a connection here. It could be a romantic connection. This is also too loving. So this could be family, um, you know, kids, siblings, things of the sort here. Yeah. But your hard work and your dedicated effort is paying off. Yes. Yeah, so all of the things that you're doing in order to heal yourself is not in vain. It's not. Because as you heal within yourself, you're able to heal in other connections around you or that you're involved in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A new start is coming at the bottom. Beautiful. Let's see. Let's clarify reach out. What can you tell me about reach out? Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about reach out? Thank you. A win-win forecast is out, huh? If you reach out. <laughs> but you're sitting here contemplating, thinking if you should reach out. Or this is somebody about you, Scorpio. Um, they want to reach out, but they're just sitting here waiting, contemplating. Or they could be waiting for you to reach out to them. But whatever, whoever reaches out is going to be a win-win forecast. A win-win outcome forecast here. Yeah. So this is a good thing. You know, so either you or this person really just need to put down the barriers that you have up between you guys and have a, uh, a healing conversation. Release all of your hurt, pain, resentment, Ill, you know, uh, slander, things of the sort. Yeah. You have to release it. Okay. What can you tell me about inner knowing? What can you tell me about inner knowing, please? One more. Thank you. Communication is key. I couldn't make this up. And I told you. This is a conversation that you're going to have to have. Communication is key. And you know this, Scorpio. You know this. Have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Look, and then, again, a new start is coming. So you will have this conversation, and you will be able to heal yourself in this connection or heal a connection within yourself or something of the sort. Once you have this communication with this person, it's going to be a win-win forecast outcome. You know, you just have to break the boundaries that you have within yourself or with this person in order for you guys to come together and communicate and heal this connection here. Okay? Holy Spirit, <clears throat> let's clarify healing. Some of you guys maybe need to speak and reach out to other people to help you heal. Okay? Something that's going on inside of you. You know, talk to a, a, a counselor, a, a therapist, a pastor, a, a friend that you can trust, a, a <clears throat> maternal or fraternal figure in your life that will help you. You don't want to <clears throat> probably hesitate in reaching out to get the help that you need, the, the, the help that you need from conversating with somebody that can actually guide you to your own inner healing. You know what I mean? This is for some of you guys. 
Okay, what's healing? Thank you. Nothing yet is set in stone. Nothing yet is set in stone because communication still needs to be had. And then you have, if you believe in the impossible. Yeah. So it's making me feel as though, you know, if you, if there were, um, how should I say, a discord or a disconnect in the connection or a relationship or a situationship or friendship or something of the sort, it, it, <clears throat> that is, it's not going to stay like that. Okay, because this communication is going to be had here. Okay, and you know this. In order for you to heal, you have to have this conversation. Communication is key. So maybe you also, too, probably need to communicate with somebody. Like I said, a therapist, a uh, um, counselor, or something of the sort that will help you heal. Not only internally, but externally, your connections and relationships. Okay? All right. What can you tell me about surrender? What can you tell me about surrender, please? Thank you. Expect powerful change <laughs> if you give it over to God. If you surrender all of them ill wills, them, 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 that anger, that upset, that disappointment. Yes, yeah, surrender it over to the most high God and expect powerful change to happen in your life. Why? Because healing has begun. It starts on the inside and then it filters to the outside here. But you're very protective of your feelings and your emotions here with these boundaries here. But you have to surrender it over. And it will bring in powerful change. Expect it. Okay? Expect it. Hold your vision at the bottom of the deck. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, expect powerful change. This will change. Okay? But it's something within yourself that you got to let go of with this big-ass release here. You want to clarify that? Holy Spirit, clarify release, please. And then it says, you are good enough. Ooh, we have three. It says, you are good, good enough. And what? Be bold and make the first move. See what I'm saying? This is you needing to reach out to somebody to heal the situation or a connection here. But you're, 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 you're hesitant. You're thinking about it. And you're thinking about it. Yeah. You're thinking about it. And now it's time to take action. Look, be bold and make the first move. And now it's time to take action. See what I mean? You're the one that's hesitant. But this is your healing that you have to heal. Or, two, if it, it could be somebody waiting for you to reach out to them, and this is going to heal them. Okay? But you're sitting here waiting, thinking about should you, shouldn't you? Will I, won't I? Things of the sort. Don't let your pride get in the way. See what I'm saying? Do not let your pride get in the way. It's making me feel as though this person could have hurt you very deeply because you have healing out here twice. Hurt you very, very deeply. And like I said, in the beginning, I felt that stubborn energy. And this is why, because you will not reach out to them to heal this connection here. Because your pride is in the way. This is at the bottom of the deck. Okay? But once, but if you will let, let your pride, if you put your pride aside, you, you have a win-win forecast outcome, baby. Okay, things will work out in your favor. Okay, because you put in the hard work, you put in the dedicated effort to not only heal, but to grow and move forward, and it will pay off. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's see. What, what else can you tell me for my Scorpios? Look, the Ace of Cups. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? A lot of love. Self-love, healing love, cup overfloweth here. Okay, somebody loving on you, you loving on them, something of the sort. What else can you tell me? Big love is here. And then we have the Knight of Swords. Uh-huh. Communication. This is also, too, somebody coming in and talk to you about the truth here. But there's love here. So they could be speaking their truth to you in the energy of love. Either love for you or love for self. Okay, look. The two of Pentacles come flying out. There's choices and opportunities here that is before you that you're going to have to make a decision. Either to go left, right, up, down, back, forth, something of the sort. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to throw you in the, uh, what do I do? How do I choose? What do I say? Type energy as well. Okay? But you're going to have a choice to make. But you have a lot of love. This is self-love. This is also too new love. This is new love that could be charging in, coming in to you to talk to you about it. Now it got you in a confused state with this hangman energy. Whatever somebody is saying to you, it got you looking at things from a different perspective here. And then it's up and out, up and down energy. It's like you don't know what to believe with this Knight of Swords energy right here. You don't know what to believe somebody, what they say. You don't know if, if you can believe 
I heard for some of you guys, you don't know if you could believe them when they say they love you. That you're looking at things differently or you're looking at them differently. Okay. Or if they say this, it's going to make you look at them differently. If they tell you how much they love you and it's going to give you, throw you an up and down energy. And you're going to sit down and you're really going to contemplate and look inside yourself to see what it is that you really believe. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit. What else can you tell me? Thank you. Justice. Libra and energy. Yes. It's going to make... <laughs> Look, y'all could be fighting like cats and dogs. Look at these. I mean, not cats and dogs, but you see this light cat and this dark cat. They going at it, but these scales are balanced. So, like I said, it could be some type of communication that's coming in. And somebody could be really telling you how they, how they really feel about you because y'all been at odds with each other. But it's going to bring balance into the situation, into your energies here. After you take a step back and look at this whole situation from a different perspective here. Temperance at the bottom of the deck. They said bring that on out. I sure will. That's the Sagittarius energy. And then we have the tower. Okay, so this is this 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 is going to change. This has to change here. The tower, the seven of swords, and the empress. The three of cups, six of cups. You know what? It's making me feel as though this this is taking back control of self or taking back control of a situation. Normally, I don't like the tower with the seven of uh, swords right here because it's like. It's, it's like somebody just really was lying, cheating, fucking it up, and it, and it had to it had to come down. This tower had to come down because somebody was a liar, somebody was a cheat, somebody was a sneak. But we have this empress here. So this could be you, okay? This is part of the reason why you have your boundaries up towards this person because it's like they was lying, cheating, and stealing, and, 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 and finagling around on you. Could be somebody you married to. Or this could be somebody that you are doing this to. Just a big fat ass liar. And then boom. Most high God said, hell no, fuck no. Protecting this empress here. I'm just saying. With this, this justice and this temperance out here. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's for some. Okay. That's for some. Holy Spirit, let's get one more. This one. Thank you. The three of pentacles coming together. Co-creating is what I'm hearing. Co-creating, yeah. But you had an eight of swords at the bottom of the deck. You're not sure if you could co-create with this person here. Okay, you want to... Mm -hmm. You could have some type of other offers coming in or something of the sort. But it's making me feel as though co-creation is here. With this temperance here, peace of mind, co-creation with the justice, yeah. This is what you're looking at. You're looking to see if you can make things work with this person as you're healing. Not only yourself, but this connection here. And your hard work will pay off. And there is a win-win forecast outcome if you come together with this person with this big-ass Ace of Cups here. Yeah. All right. I'm going to leave it here, Scorpio. This is a beautiful energy, but this is also a lot of healing and it's a lot of love around your energies this weekend. You just need to talk. You need to talk it out. You need to walk it out. And uh, coming to an agreement or an understanding with this person about where you're coming from, how you feel, what you expect, what you what you require and desire and things of the sort. Or this person needs to do that with you. Okay? All right, my love. I'm going to leave it right here. This is all I have for you. So, till next time, take care. Bye.